England win the ODI with just three men. Ah, four if you count Milan, I guess. Hello, it's Mark here. Please comment. Uh, have your say on what I'm going to say. What I say is just my opinion. I'd like to hear your opinion as well. Please like as well. And most of all, subscribe because when we've get, uh, uh, we managed to get a few subscribers to the channel, uh, we're going to have live cricket phone-ins because I don't think there is a cricket phone-in anywhere in England. So that's what we're going to do. Um, I used to work for Talk Sport and the BBC. So we're going to have live cricket phone-ins where you get to have your say. But let's talk about this cricket match, shall we, first of all. First of all, we'll talk about the batting in a sec. But the bowling, limp, impotent. It was, it was pretty rubbish, generally, wasn't it? Uh, and I don't blame the bowlers. Bowlers work as a team, almost as a, as a pack, really. Uh, so you had the two Currens. You had Sam and Tom, sort of medium place plus. Uh, Reese Topley, uh, good bounce because of his height. Um, but there was no sharp point to England's bowling attack. And we need that. A team like England, the world champions, should have a sharp point. How did we get to this place where we have no... Chris Wokes or, uh, or or no fast bowler there to, to lead the attack. I just don't get it. Why haven't we got that? Yeah, we won the game, but we didn't win the game because of the bowlers. So um, uh, we know that uh, India posted 336, and, and that was a pretty good score. And uh, it was the batters, really, that did the job. But it's interesting, isn't it? Because really... Only four batters, only four out of the 11. I, I know that that's their main job, the batters. But really, we're looking at Bairstow, Roy, Stokes had one of his good days, and Milan had one of his good days as well. So the batters had a much more difficult task because of the limp and impotent bowlers. But Bairstow, you've got to admit, the guy's an absolute genius. But my problem with the batting as well is that Bairstow and Roy were going away. Okay, unlucky run out. But then there was uh, Bairstow and Stokes. And, uh, you know, Stokes, he was doing what he usually does. And, you know, bless him, he was going for a big one for the team. Uh, he wasn't trying to play for his 100. Uh, he's probably a bit annoyed that he didn't get that. But, you know, good on him. You know, he, he that's that's what he's made of. He's a northeastern lad. Good stock. So, um, but it's interesting, isn't it, that, once again, there was just for about 10 minutes the risk of another England match-losing collapse. Why do they keep collapsing? Why do they get such a great start? And then why does the middle order keep collapsing? Now, if you were in the England management, wouldn't you think, hang on a minute, there's a reason for this. We must be able to deal with this. Do you know what I'd do? I'd get a psychologist in and try and get to the bottom of why England keep collapsing after such a brilliant start. Why does the team keep collapsing? Because it was interesting watching Butler, very talented cricketer, hugely powerful batsman, and, uh, you know, he just got done with um, a Yorker, you know, f f for naught. And yet, if Bairstow had been there, how come he would... OK, he'd, been in, he'd played himself in and everything, but he, you know, he, he would have been able to play that. So why are these batsmen going in and, and not... Do, in a 50 over match, giving themselves just an over or two to play themselves in. Don't get it. I think we need some help with that one. I think we need a psychologist. Okay. So, uh, anyway, it's a brilliant result, absolutely brilliant result. So, uh, it sets it up nicely for a really hot, deciding uh, final ODI with uh, India. I know I said I thought it was going to be India, England 3 0. Uh, obviously, you know, what do I know? And that is true. What do I know? Which is why I'd like to know what you know. I'd like your comments down below. Uh, please like, comment, and subscribe. We really want to start building the subscribers up to the channel now because as soon as we get a decent number of subscribers, you will be getting your say on a live cricket phone in for two hours every week. And that's the plan. I'm Mark, and I'll see you soon.